Isn't that good? Yum. Yeah. What are you eating? Shake quesadillas. You eating a gingerbread or a tree? Tree. Ooh, a tree first, huh? Yum. This is a snowflake. Totally. Pretty. I got two of them. And now this is a gingerbread man. Oh. Delicious. Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. So I'm in the car alone for once. Josh is home with the girls. I fed them lunch. We made those super cute holiday shaped quesadillas. Lila had a blast making those with me. It was such a simple but fun way to incorporate the holidays into like a regular lunch. I got Nora down for a nap and now I'm out and I'm gonna run some holiday errands. I have most of like our Christmas gifting like done, but I need to do like the little stuff like making sure I have shoes for the girls for their holiday outfits, making sure I have something to wear. I have to grab some gift wrap so Josh and I can wrap some gifts tonight. He and I are actually going to do a little at home holiday date night. After we get the kids to bed, we're going to make some fun Christmas themed drinks and an appetizer, watch a Christmas movie and do some gift wrapping together. We don't always get the chance to like go out and do big date nights, especially we once again just just moved and don't have any family or babysitters yet in the area but it's nice to take like a regular night we would just be hanging out at home put a little theme on it so it's a little something special so we have a holiday date night anyway I thought I would take you guys along for some errands today pop along do some shopping and then I'm going to share those recipes for holiday drinks and appetizers with you guys I can't believe how fast Christmas is coming it is just over a week now until Christmas so we are getting down there in time so we got to get some of this stuff done okay I'm heading into Michael's even though it's like just barely more than a week till Christmas, I still don't have a topper or a skirt for our new tree. So it's the last place I have to look, but I don't want to get something just to get it. I want to like it. Well, here's one option. I think I was thinking I wanted red. So the plaid's cute, but with that fur detailing at the bottom, we have some of our stockings, but they're like a white fur. So that'd kind of clash. So here's two more. But I just don't really think that's the vibe of our tree. It's a little bit more traditional. Oh, this might be an option. It's kind of like red and white. Our stockings are white fur and like a bright red knit. Tiny bit of fur trim. 48 inches. I think that should be big enough. And at 60% off, it might be worth taking home to at least try. I'm loving these signs with like the teal and the pink touches. I think that'd be so cute to incorporate maybe into like the girls' bathroom. I don't know, now I'm trying to think about how I could use these. Look how cute this little guy would be with that sign. Tree toppers, lots of stars, gold, silver. This is so hard because I've used bows for the topper for my last few years and I'm so used to something fuller being at the top. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this new shape. Okay, so I got a tree topper and a couple little things I wanna try decorating the girls' bathroom with. However, I chickened out on the tree skirt. It just wasn't, it was not the vibe I was thinking I wanted. And again, I don't wanna get something just to get it. So we're gonna try one more stop. In this same shopping plaza is a Kirkland's. So we're gonna hop in there and see if we have anything left for tree skirts. It has been a long time since I've been into a Kirkland's. Ooh, sorry, that was loud. But do I need a butter ornament? Okay, I think that was a success. I grabbed a tree skirt, so let's go home and try everything on the tree. Got a few new ornaments to put up. So let's see, maybe we'll finally be ready for Christmas, which is good because it's only about a week away. I feel like I'm gonna blow away. It's very windy right now. 
last stop. Gotta grab those few items so we can make our holiday appetizer and drinks tonight for holiday date night at home with Josh. Look at my cuties outside playing. <gasps> Hello. Bubbles. You guys are always playing with bubbles. Hi. Oh, and a ball. A ball for Mimi. You bonked Nora in the head? No. A bubble popped on her. Oh, a bubble. Hey, Dad. Hi, sweet pea. I miss you. Mommy went shopping. Ooh. Oh. I am back from my afternoon of being out, doing some mom time, shopping around by myself. I don't know why that feels just like so restoring to my soul just to go and have a little bit of time to myself to walk around. Even if I'm not spending a lot of money, just kind of window shop and just have a breather. It's been a while since I got a chance to do that with moving and all the chaos and craziness of moving right before the holidays and trying to get settled in our new home. So anyway, it was nice to have a little afternoon to myself, but now I'm home. My crew is out playing in the backyard. They're getting hungry though, so I'm gonna get dinner going. Girls are over bed. Now I can take a minute and share with you guys what I picked up when I was out doing my shopping and errands today. First up, totally standard, but I did run into Lane Bryant for a new bra. I actually placed a Target pickup order for a couple clothing items that I think might work for some of the holidays, so I'll share those with you guys once I do the pickup for them. But it's wearing real clothes, so it was time to get a new like real girl bra, not just like a sports bra or bralette, which is pretty much what I live in. If you need to revamp your Lane Bryant bra wardrobe, it is their semi-annual sale going on right now, and all of their regular full price bras were only $35. Next, I ran into Michaels, and I showed you guys this little cutie fluffy snowman I found. I think I'm gonna put him along with this super cute peppermint sign in the girls' bathroom. I like the idea of trying to add some of this like fun, Christmassy pink and turquoise colors into their bathroom, just because it's like the girls' wing of the house, so we have our cutesy little girly colors in there too. But I think these next to each other, along with they already have like a red and white peppermint scented Mickey soap from when we went to Disney World. Lila picked one out when we were there at one of our favorite little bath shops that's there. And then it is that time of year. I always pick up extra tape because um, Josh and I are gonna be doing some present wrapping tonight while we hang out for date night. And then the main thing I went looking for was a topper for our new big Christmas tree, our main one. We replaced like the small six and a half skinny one we had in our old house um, for a nine foot pre-lit tree. We actually got a steal of a deal of it on Facebook Marketplace and I needed a new topper and it needs a new look. So this is the one I ended up going with. It's a star, but it's kind of like a finial style star. Um, and it's more of a yellow gold, which I think will go with a lot more of my ornaments, my hand blown glass ones, especially. So I'm gonna have Josh put that up on the tree tonight while I'm making our fun like holiday appetizers and drinks that we're doing so we'll see how the tree comes out along with it I also found a new tree skirt I thought this one was nice I really liked the weight of this one it's like a heavy knit has a diamond pattern so I like that it has um, texture but it's not super sparkly I'm not gonna get glitter everywhere it's a nice rich color the tree skirt was the first thing I got at Kirkland's I totally forgot there was a Kirkland's right in that little strip plaza but I did pick up a couple new ornaments um, I'm really trying to start collecting like four or five six maybe new ornaments every year so I can start growing a more unique collection of ornaments instead of just having like kind of large packs of filler ball ornaments all over the tree which is kind of what I have going on right now other than like my small collection of Christopher Radko um, glass blown ornaments so this one I thought was really pretty it's a really sparkly um, spindly star that's three-dimensional and then I felt like they had a lot of really fun like retro kind of looking ornaments I loved this one it's like a bright golden red and then they actually had that one in with red as the base and a sparkly gold overlay too. So I got one of each. And then look at how cute this one is. I feel like we all had a mom or a grandma or a great grandma who had these classic ceramic trees with like the little light bulbs that lit up. I know for sure my grandma had one, which I actually think my sister might have it now. I need to ask her um, if she has grandmas, but 
This was so cute and it reminded me of my grandma, so I had to get it. It does light up. It looks like it has a little pull tab though, so let me go ahead and pull that out and we'll see what it looks like lit up. Continuing to add ornaments higher up on the tree because my one and a half year old has made quite the game out of trying to bring me ornaments from the tree. All right, let's put this one maybe right up there. There's the final tree. I do like our tree skirt. I wish it were a little bigger, I think. It's bigger than the tree stand, but not as wide as the widest branches at the bottom. And then the star kind of looks itty bitty up there. I got both the tree skirt and the star for 50 or 60% off. And there's just like nothing else out there right now. I've checked Hobby Lobby, I've checked Home Goods, I've checked Michaels, I've checked Kirkland's, I've checked Target. And unless I wanna go and order something online, which may not get here before like the holidays kind of begin, I'm kind of out of luck. So I think this is, this is it for this year. This is how the Jansen family tree is gonna look. But you know what, it's still very festive. It's the right color scheme. We'll see if I end up modifying it in some way, adding to it in some way, or just getting something totally different next year. We'll see. We have two other trees in our house that are smaller that we could like maybe move one of those to if I decide to get something else for this big tree. I'm just not used to shopping for a nine foot tree. This is a huge tree compared to what we've ever had before in the past, so. Anyway, some trial and error, and next year we will have more time to decorate and get new things and kind of establish our new holiday look in our new home. Josh is finding our date night movie. I'm getting some appetizers together and, ooh, drinks. I'm making a special holiday themed appetizer as well as a holiday drink for Josh and I to enjoy while we watch a Christmas movie. Hopefully we'll get around to wrapping some presents, although it's already getting pretty late. So we'll have to see how much we can get done tonight. This is a delicious appetizer that is so simple. You could do it for something as simple as a holiday themed night and date like Josh and I are doing, or this would be super easy to put together for a party as well for multiple people. I have two pre-made cans of Pillsbury Crescent dough. I bought some pre-made spinach artichoke dip. You can make your own but I'm saving time. And I have some shredded Parmesan. I'll use a little bit of melted butter to put on top. That's it, these simple ingredients are gonna be making spinach artichoke dip pinwheels in the form of a Christmas tree. So I have my oven heating to 375 degrees. I'm just gonna open a can of Pillsbury dough and I'm just unrolling it. And then I'm just gonna kind of press and pinch it together so those um, like perforated lines kind of go away so we have one nice even sheet of dough. You can buy, I believe, the Pillsbury Crescent dough in sheets instead of um, pre-cut like this. I didn't see any at my local HEB when I went this last time, but you can definitely take a peek for them. All right, and once I got that pretty well rolled flat, I'm just coming right in with my spinach and artichoke pre-made dip mix. I'm going to dollop some on and then spread it out in a nice thin, even layer. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a little bit, like maybe a half inch of a border of dough around the edges so we'll be able to roll and seal it together. And then our dip won't be seeping out the edges. And then I have some shredded Parmesan and I'm gonna do a little light layer of this sprinkled all over on top of the dip mix. This is also gonna help in case your dip is a little bit thinner or runny. Um, it's gonna give something else for it to stick to before we roll it up so it's not seeping out the sides. So the best thing about having the parchment paper is as we go to roll it, use the parchment paper to help peel that first corner up. And we are just gonna roll this like we're rolling cinnamon rolls. So we're just rolling that first short edge in on itself. And then you're just gonna keep going. You wanna keep this rolled pretty tight. And again, use your parchment paper and help roll and seal as you go. So I roll it a bit and then I peel the parchment down. 
when we peel back. And then there you go, it's all rolled up. I also, one of my favorite tricks is I'm gonna go ahead and pop this. I'm gonna do, repeat this one more time with the other can and more dip and Parmesan, making two logs, and then I'm gonna pop them in the fridge for a few minutes, just so the dough firms up and we can slice through it more cleanly. All right, she ain't perfect, but I think she'll be delicious. I am just going to go ahead and paint over a little bit of melted butter and sprinkle with some extra Parmesan, and then again into the oven at 375. We're gonna start about 16 minutes. It might need as long as 18, it just kinda depends. You just wanna make sure the dough is cooked all the way through and they're nice and golden brown. Here's what we need for our holiday beverages. This is a recipe I found on TikTok. I believe they called it a cranberry cinnamon smash. I will put the link for all of the directions and ingredients in the description box below. It's two ounces of bourbon whiskey, two ounces of cranberry juice cocktail, one ounce of lemon juice. I have some fresh squeeze right here. One ounce of cinnamon simple syrup. Lila actually helped me make this simple syrup, the cinnamon one, as well as these sugared cranberries, which are gonna be our garnish along with some fresh rosemary. So here's a peek at how we made these two ingredients and then we'll assemble our drink. Starting on our cinnamon simple syrup. This comes together with four quick ingredients. On the stove top, you're going to add one cup of sugar and one cup of water to a pot. Sprinkle in maybe like a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and then Sorry. add three cinnamon yep. sticks. Put three in. One, two, three. Give it all a quick stir and then turn your heat on to a medium low temperature. And this mixture is just going to go ahead and simmer. Don't reach a boil, just a low simmer. You'll notice it start to get thicker. And once it's reduced by about half in volume, it's ready. And then you just pull it off the heat and let it cool completely before either transferring it to a container for storage or using in your beverage. <laughs> Gotta let it cool. Yep. The sugar cranberries, we're starting out the same by making another simple syrup, but this is a plain one. So just one cup of water plus one cup of regular sugar. Stir over a medium low heat until it reaches a simmer and reduces by half. Set the simple syrup to the side and let it cool completely before adding one package of rinsed and drained fresh cranberries. Give them a little stir to make sure they're coated all over in your simple syrup. And then I used a slotted spoon to lay the glazed cranberries on a sheet of parchment paper. Then wait about 30 minutes till the berries aren't wet, but just lightly tacky and sprinkle white sugar all over them. Give them a little stir to make sure they're coated on all sides. And there you have some beautiful sugared cranberries, perfect for garnishing drinks or holiday baked goods. Now let's mix up our holiday cranberry cinnamon smash cocktails. And there is our cinnamon cranberry splash. It looks so beautiful and festive. Ooh. That is so good. It is citrusy, but cinnamony. You get that warmth of that bourbon whiskey, but it's not like hitting you right in the throat like some other kind of whiskey mixed beverages can be. This is so good. I have to make one for Josh. Here's time for Josh's taste test. What do you think? Ooh, 
that's good. Yeah. yeah. And he he's the whiskey bourbon drinker. He's why we have, that's why I picked this recipe is because we had whiskey bourbon at home. Um, you like whiskey and I like sweet drinks. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of like the perfect one. It's a blend. nice in between, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Happy holiday date night at home. It's a little dangerously good because I could see myself drinking more than one of these. And then <laughs> I would not be a happy mama in the morning when our kids wake us up at 6 a.m. This is seriously very good though. Right? And for snackage, check out our spinach artichoke tree. I feel like I wish I had something to make this a, like a little star up top. I don't know, what would you guys use to make a star? Maybe some sort of veggies. Spinach artichoke dip is really good on like bell peppers and carrots and stuff too. So probably something like that. But yeah, kind of festive. I'm sure delicious. Well, we ended up calling the vlog there. Thank you guys so much for coming along on my busy day. We did a little shopping, a little cooking, some holiday treats and drinks. Thank you again for tuning in to this year's Vlogmas. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you hadn't yet. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's vlog. And until next time, cheers. Bye. I get up, I always do. I never think.